What's up, YouTube? DJ Miles, 2010 here. Uh, I'm actually back with Step Your Game Up. I started doing my segment again. Um, I kind of strayed for, for a while because when I was still in Iowa, uh, I had things that I was doing. Uh, I basically got away from it. Um, I've now recently moved to Texas. I'm staying here with my grandparents and my fiance. And uh, I'm, I'm really liking it here. There's a lot of good players down here, a lot of things to do. But uh, basically, this episode is about the card that defines this format. And if you look at uh, YCS winner Billy Brake, shout out to him. And second place, uh, Nikki LaCale, I think is his name. And basically, everyone at YCS Toronto, they were playing this card known as Tour Guide of the Underworld. Uh, everyone knows what Tour Guide does. You don't play it in one. You don't play it in two. But you play it in three. You always play it in three because Tour Guide grabs Sanin and then Tour Guide grabs Tour Guide. Now, basically, uh, the reason why Tour Guide is so good is because Tour Guide goes for Sanin, and then after that, you either get Maxi, um, Effect Veiler, Danny Lion, or Lone Fire when you're, if you're playing Plants. A lot of people uh, play Tour Guide in many other decks. If you look at uh, the second place deck, you played it in Agents. You either go for Earth, Herald, or he didn't play Herald, so he would go for Earth or Effect Failure or Honest pretty much. And um, that basically lets you control the game, which is basically all Yu-Gi-Oh! is about. It's about control and controlling your opponents. Life points really don't matter too much in the game. You can have 50 life points and still win. Um, Toriad is going to be opening up a lot more plays here. I think not this week, but the week after Dark Worlds come out. Uh, Summit Tour Guide, you get Brow, the level 3 Fiend with 1400 attack, and you special summon him. And then you can return him to your hand to special summon Graffa from your graveyard. And then activate, say you have the field spell out, activate the field spell, remove a fiend, and then um, discard Brow. Draw a card off the field and then draw one off of Brow. So basically it's netting you a lot of cards. Or you can summon Tour Guide, go for another Tour Guide and make Levier. And special summon Brow that you've removed from play. And then send him back to your hand and do the same thing. And now you have a Levier and a Graffa out on the field. Um... The fact that Tour Guide grabs so many things from your deck that lets you control the game is why Tour Guide is so good. Um, th and then uh, next next set, Photon Shockwave, you, uh, you get a monster called Rescue Rabbit. And basically what Rescue Rabbit does is you banish it from, you summon it and you banish it. And unless priority doesn't get hit, you still get priority with the Rescue Rabbit. So you summon it and you banish it. And you special summon two level four normal monsters with the same name from your deck. So what you're gonna do is summon it and go for Saber Source. Um, you get two Saber Source and you make a level or rank four exceed. Uh, I'm not really positive on his name, but uh, basically what he is is he's a walking solemn. He has 2400 attack and reads the same way as Solemn Judgment. You detach two X Y Z materials to negate uh, a, a summon. Yeah. Uh, and you get a summon, uh, spell, or trap. Basically, he works like uh, like Solemn whenever he's negating summons. So he can't negate gores. He can't stop any of that because he doesn't stop effects. And th th those cards are shutting chains. If they, if the monster, if the opponent goes monster reborn, and you let that monster hit the field, you can't negate it. You have to stop the monster reborn itself. So do remember that. Um, then after you have him out, you summon Tour Guide, make Levier and get uh, Rescue Rabbit back. And then you banish it to get uh, get another Solemn. Or if there's another monster that has 2300 attack who negates effects by detaching two XYZ materials. So basically you can have someone who stops effects, someone who's gonna constantly special summon your Rescue Rabbit back, and then someone who's going to stop anything the opponent does when they're trying to regain control. So it's almost like if you open with Rescue Rabbit, or if you open with Gold Sark and Tour Guide, then and, and you're going first, you almost you're almost guaranteed the win because it's it's gonna make the opponent waste a lot of cards to try and kill your field. So basically, you're gonna have control. They're gonna have to waste at least two cards just to kill your Solemn. Um, and that's that's basically all this format is about is Tour Guide. I mean, everyone at Toronto was running it. Um, 
a lot of people are going to be running it in Dark Worlds. Uh, if you look on uh, Duelist Grounds, everyone's talking about running it in Dark Worlds. Uh, summon it, get Brow, you already know. And then with with Rescue Rabbit, I don't see no reason why not to run it. <laughs> I mean, the fact that you can make a monster that's exactly like Solemn Judgment and control the field with Levier and that monster, and that Walking Solemn has 2400 attack is just ridiculous. Um, that's basically all this episode is about. Uh, so, that's pretty much it. Just remember, I mean, if you can get, get tour guides, try and get tour guides. I picked them up at Nats when they were still like 50 a piece, but I got two for 70. So, I got a really good deal on mine. If you find any deals on tour guides, I'd suggest that you go for them. But, uh, be careful on eBay because a lot of people are trying to scam you out of tour guides. So, remember that if it says lot... Don't don't bid on it. If you see ten dollars for a tour guide, it's it's not it's definitely not real because tour guides are still around one twenty to one fifty, depending on depending on who you are. I know uh, Chris and Kyle Bowling buy them for one twenty or one thirty here where I'm at. So, but keep remember, guys, step your game up. This episode is about tour guides.